Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to make a fast charge USB cable. This is perfect when you're using a AC wall adapter or perhaps a car USB charger where the phone isn't recognizing it as being capable of pushing out a lot of power um, and it puts it as USB instead of AC and you get a very low charging current. Now this one right now is showing 460 milliamp even though this particular charger can put out up to 4 amp. Now this is also a big problem in car adapters. You buy one which says 2 amp or 3 amp um, and you plug in your Android device and it's only pulling a small amount of power. Um, now this is very easy to fix. If you look at the USB cable, regular micro USB cable, you'll see that there's four pins. The outside two are for power and the inside two are for data. Now if you short out the middle two data pins together, when you plug it in, it will, know, it will basically know that it's connected to a high current charger or an AC charger, and the phone will then try and draw more power. So what I'm going to do is basically just use this aluminium foil. Uh, it's a tape foil, um, but you could just use a regular kitchen aluminium foil and then a piece of tape. So I'm going to start by cutting a small strip of this. And I want to cut this to the width of just the middle two pins inside there. I don't want to short them out against the outside pins. So I'm just measuring now to check if this is going to fit okay. And I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter or a little bit not so wide. Okay, I think that strip should work. Let's measure that. That looks like it should be okay. So I'll just peel off the paper backing. I've got my knife around here somewhere, <coughs> just here. So I'll peel off the backing. There we go, and you'll see that this is just pure aluminium foil. And I'm going to place it inside carefully just to cover the two middle data pins. Once that's in there, I'll push it down with my knife. Okay, that seems secure. And I'll just cut off the excess. Okay, <clears throat> so if you look inside the cable now, you'll see that the tape covers the middle two pins and that's shorting them together. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that on the camera. So let's reconnect it to our charger and plug it into our phone. You'll see it now says that it's charging from AC. Let's check how much current it's pulling in. 1200 milliamp. So all we've used is a piece of uh, aluminium foil tape and like that we've hugely increased our charging capacity so it's going to charge much quicker. Um, that's good for any kind of uh, AC adapter that it's not recognizing as an AC adapter and especially useful for car chargers. Um, pretty much every car charger I've bought when I plug in my Android phone, it's only pulling in 450 or 500 milliamp, um, which is really the bare minimum. So just modify a cable like this and it's going to charge much quicker. Um, the only thing to remember is that because you've shorted out the two data lines, um, it can no longer be used to carry uh, files. So you can't transfer files on or off using this cable anymore without first removing the foil tape. Um, in some desktop computers, some uh, modern like USB free ports, they can actually push out more than uh, 500 milliamp, so it can also be very useful there. Uh, but you should be careful when using it around computers just to make sure that uh, the port can actually handle more than that. Um, otherwise, you might get a warning. For instance, uh, I've tried this on some old MacBooks, and it will give you a warning on the computer saying that a device connected tried to draw too much power. It didn't cause any damage, but it did produce a warning. So thanks for watching, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.